Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going to be doing a head shave today, I'm going to use the Gillette Rocket 500 HD number 59, which looks like that. Excellent, excellent condition. And it's just a beautiful razor, it's got a lovely weight to it, and I had probably the closest, one of the most comfortable face shaves I've had yesterday. I managed to go against the grain quite a bit. I'm going to use it on my head today, I've got three days growth, so I think it's going to struggle, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to stick to the same soap I used yesterday because I really enjoyed this. It is sun's coming through my window at the moment, but it's freezing. So Viking Longship, which smells pretty much exactly like Unjur Gris from Katie's Bubbles. In fact, if you took them out of each other's tub and put them in each other's tubs, you'd think it was the same soap. Performance-wise, they're both just as good as each other. This Viking stuff is excellent though. Right. The brush for today is the Razor Rock 400. I've had this up for sale for a little bit now and it still hasn't sold, so it may end up back in the rotation and possibly go as a giveaway at some point. Oh, excuse me. So straight into the silt. I'm going to load the brush up pretty heavy, then go to the bowl, quick bowl ladder, and then straight onto the head. Now this silt is really slick really slick. I was very impressed with it yesterday. I've used it a few times before, not this one, I've also used Hedeby as well and both of them are excellent soaps and for the price there's not much better on the market if, in my opinion. This one has got a much stronger scent than Hedeby. This sits around about a five, a six, maybe even sort of six and a half. The Hedeby's around about a three to a four in the tub and maybe a four to a four and a half wet. Right, that's the brush loaded. I don't need any more than that, as you can see. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of water into the Saponificio shaving grail bowl and then just add the brush. And straight away it's starting to whip up already. There's been a little bit of interest in this brush lately, not from my, not with me, but I've noticed quite a lot of people talking about it on Facebook and trying to get their hands on it. It's quite a hard bowl to get hold of, which I'm surprised that Sapona Feature where I see, you know, haven't been making more of them because in terms of what they are, they're not a difficult thing I would imagine to make if you've got all the right tools. So I'm surprised they haven't really churned them out. But then again, it means they can hold a sort of premium price as well. If they were just throwing them out left, right and centre, they would probably struggle to get the same price for them. I mean, they're almost a, an unobtainium bowl, really. There's not a lot of them out there that I've seen. And I've only come across one person so far that didn't really like it at all, just didn't get on with it, which I find quite surprising. But I haven't really used a captain's choice or a good quality scuttle like the Crown King's, King's Scuttle or anything along those lines, or even just a quality made shaving bowl from a potter. All I've used, the best shaving bowl I've used is this one. I've used Edwin Jagger bowls. I've used bowls which aren't shaving bowls but they've still whipped up great ladders and, and done the job. One bowl, or one tub that I'm a bit disappointed in at the moment, and I'm sure you guys will be the same, is the fine accoutrements tub that they brought out for the soaps with no lid. Strangest decision I've ever seen from a, from a soap that's so nice, really deserves a lovely tub, and the tub itself looks good, but there's no lid with it, so what the hell is the point in that? It's not really for storing, it's more for lathering in, which you can do that in a bowl or, or a mug. Right, the lather's done. Smells superb. Let's wet the head. So yeah, I'm unsure how this razor is going to tackle three days head growth. I know the Wunderbar would absolutely knock it out. The Wunderbar, without question, would knock this three days growth down easily. But the Gillette, total different matter. It's not got the same oomph as the Wunderbar, or the Timeless, or even the Murgress when you pump it up to setting five. The R41, which I no longer have, it just sold. It's just been delivered to its new owner this morning.
Right, there we go. Okay, so as I showed you at the beginning, the Gillette Rocket HD 500. Twist it open, you can see the little bit down here as you twist it down, comes down. It's a great mechanism opening, but as you can see, this one here just sticks a little bit, but I will probably, if I enjoy this razor as much as I already have, send this one over to Restored Razors in New Zealand and get it replated and cleaned up and adjusted. So I'm going to use a Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge, no, nope, super stainless, and uh, this is the green, so Gillette 7 o'clock green. Give it a good tighten down, that's the blade in, and the blade on this pretty much aligns spot on, I'm quite impressed with it. And let's see how we go with the green. I'll be honest, I'm not, as I've said a couple of times already, I'm not expecting miracles with this razor with this amount of growth, but we shall see. Well, it cleans out very, very well. There's nothing stuck in the razor, which is good. To say that my hair growth is quite heavy at the moment. Heavy for a bald guy, that is. Now, I don't know if you guys watch James Riley, who makes the West Pea Soaps. He did a head shave, I think it was yesterday. I haven't actually commented on it yet. But he was using a sort of, looked like a Gillette Tech. I never seen the whole video, I just seen parts of it. What I did see was he cut his head a few times. Just out of the blue. Just took a couple of chunks out of his head. I was really surprised because he's pretty, a pretty straight shooter with his razors. I've got to give him that. He doesn't get too many cuts or weepers or anything. Well, so far, very, very smooth. Extremely smooth. I'm not getting any, any issues. It seems to be cutting through the hair quite well. As you can see, the, the hair's coming off there. The lather is lovely. It's very slick, it's very protective. Pretty much what I've come to expect from high quality artisan soaps. I have tried a few recently which have let me down, they've, they've sort of failed the slickness test, but Viking, very, very impressed. I know he's been, he was very, very busy there for a bit. I think it's slowed down just a touch, so I'm sure if you message him, they'll be able to get in contact with you straight away. I don't tend to get too wound up with things like that if I send an email and I don't get a message back. I, Send an instant message, don't be anything but especially when you know a business is flat out. However, I do expect to hear something back eventually, which I did from Viking, but by that time I'd moved to other things and spent a fortune on everything else. Unfortunately, because I would have liked to have added quite a lot of these razors, these sorry, these soaps to the den. I probably will do. Just got to wait for the right time financially. Now, this razor is very mild, but it's relatively efficient. I don't feel in danger of getting cuts from it. I don't feel like I'm going to slice my head open or anything like that. Because it is, there's not a lot of blade gap. There's not a lot, there's a fair bit of blade exposure, but it doesn't look scary. But it's certainly chewing through the hair. 
the Gillette 7 o'clock green is also a beautiful blade. And I'm not saying if you buy a Gillette Vintage you don't have to use a Gillette blade in it but for some reason Gillette blades just seem to work in it really well. It's almost like they were built for Gillette razors. Had a couple of little bits just that were a little bit long because I'm going to be going against the grain now. Loads of slickness in the soap, and I mean loads, it's just incredible slickness. It's not as close as any, anywhere near as close as a first pass with the Wunder Bar or even the Timeless, but it was smooth. I don't have any irritation, it feels great. Soap smells great. Just dip in the tips just a little bit, add a little bit of moisture and it's just a little bit dry. And as you can see it just sort of explodes straight away, the Viking soap, excellent stuff, easy to lather, the lather is very stable, it's luxurious and slick as I keep saying. Right, against the grain with the vintage Gillette Rocket, the brand new Gillette 7 o'clock green, that's really smooth. I can hardly feel the blade, I can hear it cutting, I can feel it cutting and that's BBS with an incredible amount of residual slickness. Now the feeling I'm getting here against the grain is pretty much the same feeling I got against the grain on my face, it's almost non-existent. Now even with the Wunderbar I can still feel it cutting the hair. This doesn't feel like it's doing anything at all, but it's doing a wonderful job. It's tremendous, it really is. Now there is a bit of overhang on this razor, just on the sides here, you probably, you probably see it that way, you go just here, on both sides, so you have to be careful with the back of your ears and things like that, because it will take a good slice of your ear. This is uh, blowing me away this razor. I, I said quite a while back when I, I had my Gillette Slim and I've had Gillette Tex flare tips but they weren't really my thing. I think I have to go back on what I said because this, this razor is absolutely beautiful. It's as smooth as you like, it's comfortable. It 
it's reducing the hair very very well and it almost works better with the silks it seems to leave a, a better layer of residual slickness it doesn't cut it right down to the skin the soap itself That is just silky smooth. I mean, there's no effort. I'm not, there's no trying to pull it through the hair. It's just, <laughs> it's pretty impressive stuff. Yeah. I'm starting to get sick of this wet shaving, I've got to say. I need to stop buying things. <laughs> The worst thing about vintage razors is, and I'm sure all you guys out there that collect them, or have them in a den, maybe not collect them but use them, whenever you see one that looks great and it's a half decent price, you just buy it. You don't you don't think twice about, oh, well, you can buy them in the shops, because you know you can't. You get one hit with them and that's it. You might never come across one like that again. Now it may take, I mean that's knocked the biggest majority of it down. It's going to take a little bit longer than the Wunderbar, but it's certainly smooth as you like. And the slickness on the soap, as you can see, is just brilliant. Right, that's the rain back on, the clouds are back. The weather's terrible at the moment over here. It is our winter right enough. Got to have some bad weather every year. Can't have it good all the time. So this will just be a third and final pickup pass. I'm saying this is taking longer than the Wunderbar, but it's actually I'm looking at the time on my clock on my video. That's I think I'm going to be sitting around about the same amount of time. So. There we go. So with my third pass and pickups, I generally just go over absolutely everything again. Just sort of cover everywhere I've already been. Trying to pick up every last little hair. Don't hold no prisoners. There's nothing. Nothing gets away. back here at the crown using residual slickness in the end to finish up. But that's tremendous.
In fact, do you know something? The soap is so slick. It sometimes counteracts the blade. It causes the blade to just slide over the hairs. Which I haven't experienced yet really on my head. But it could be the razor. The razor is, let's say, it's a very mild razor. There's nothing scary about it at all. It does its, does its job very well. Very efficiently. Yeah, see this is where the where the Wunderbar and uh, the Mergress excel for me. Just that final pick up pass where these milder razors just don't cut the mustard. So as much as this is very comfortable, very smooth, I've got a lot of growth there and it's just not doing it. So it feels smooth if you go down the way with the grain, but as soon as you come across the grain against the grain, the hair comes out straight away. So I suppose does it shave great for the head? Yeah it does. But does it give a great shave? It gives an alright head shave. It gives a shave that, I'm, that I would be happy with. You're just going to have to spend more time with it. Because you're spending more time and more passes, there's more chance of irritation. You're rubbing, you're going over the residual slickness over and over again, so you lose that protection from the slickness. So you have to probably, I mean, even now, I feel like I might have to just apply just a little bit of soap. Just to give me a bit of help on the back here and on the crown because it is losing its slickness now because I'm spending so much time trying to get every last hair. I do not like to miss hairs when I'm doing my hair. I like it. I like BBS, that's it. Anything less than BBS I'm not happy with. And part of being BBS it's not feeling any hair, no matter which way you rub your head, rub the skin. So that includes against the grain. As well. Yeah, I mean, as much as this is very smooth, I am enjoying it. I don't feel like I'm rushing, I just feel like this has taken a lot longer just to finish this one off. And I know I keep saying it, but I'm a bit of a repetitive sort of fellow, you know. What you don't want to do is when you get to this stage where you're trying to get these last stragglers, you don't want to lean hard with the razor. Let the razor still do its job, even if it's taking longer, let it work. It will get there. Don't panic and think that it's crap. Like I say, this is albeit a little bit slower picking these last few hairs up, still one of the smoothest shears I've ever had. I mean, probably is the smoothest shave I've had in my head, I've got to say. But you can't rush perfection, get it right. Don't, don't irritate your skin by pressing too hard with the razor. Now that to me on the back feels like there's nothing left and that's pretty perfect. 
little bit down there. There's a little bit down there. You guys can hear that rain right now. You won't have heard it last night. It woke me up about three in the morning and that was me. I could not get back to sleep. It was so loud. Well that guys, I tell you there's the odd, and I mean, it's a little bit there. Very odd little bit of hair here and there that I've missed, but that is about as smooth as you can go. Yeah, that is one hell of a good shave. Excuse me. Absolutely as smooth and as irritation free as you can get. So, Humphreys Lilac, which is pretty much Humphreys Lavender. Now I normally get a bit of burn from this. Let's see what we feel. I'm not getting any burn, I can feel something here. I've actually got a little bit of hair there, which, well, the witch hazel is still a little bit wet. I should be able to just clean that up. There we go. I don't recommend doing this guys if you're not, especially if you're not used to these razors. Not having any real slickness on there other than a little bit of witch hazel wetness, which doesn't really add any slickness let me tell you. But that was absolutely beautiful. And while that is drying in, I shall rinse out the brush, show you this phenomenal little razor. Gillette Rocket HD 500. I think it means heavy duty, which is the, it's the heaviest form of rocket that you can get. 83 grams, I think it is. Beautiful bit of weight to it. Short handle, twist it open. Just a beautiful razor. Super, super smooth, and it's it's mild but efficient. It's not as efficient as a Mergress or a Blunderbar or an R41 by any stage of the imagination. So if you like aggression and you like it to be really aggressive, then this is not the razor for you. However. You want a razor that gives you a great shave without any real irritation or any real struggling or trying this is definitely worth having in your den the brush was the razor rock 400 for you guys out there that like this brush or have this brush the razor rock f 400 has just come out which is a 34 mil monster of a knot it's massive compared to this 
and it looks great. I'm, I'm, I was actually very tempted to grab it myself, but I do have a big brush in the works. It smells great now. I love the smell of this longship. Viking longship. Brilliant soap company. Brilliant soap. Really is. Smells great. It smells exactly like Anjou Gris from Katie's Bubbles if you've used that before. And I think, not 100%, I think it's based on Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, but I really don't know. I'm just sort of guessing. It's a big guess. I'm just going by the name, really. <laughs> and where else was I? The bowl was the Saponificio Barracino Shaving Grail. This looks like that. It smells great now. Moved on to the Humphreys Lilac, which is a lavender scent. It's not as strong scented as theirs, but I tell you what, it's really good witch hazel. I find the witch hazel itself to be better quality than theirs. It really leaves an excellent feeling on your skin. And I'm just going to top it up now with a little bit more aloe vera, calendula and chamomile from Lucky Tiger. After shave tonic. And this has got a beautiful citrus scent. It's really nice. Good slap of that. I find this really helps put the moisture back in the skin. It cools your skin down. It feels great. It's got a lovely... I mean, I'm assuming it's got glycerin in it. I haven't checked, but I can sort of feel that slick glycerin feel from it. Similar to what you get from Nivea Too Faced. And that, guys, was one hell of a shave. I really enjoyed that. I'm up to 32 minutes now, but a lot of that has been talking shit. So I'm getting pretty good at that. But the shave itself, well, the, no irritation at all. None. There's no redness, no... no bumps, cuts, nicks, weepers, nothing at all, just an incredibly smooth, very, very, very comfortable shave from a razor twice my age. Truly remarkable that these razors are that good. So well built, just a, as you can see the top bit goes up here, then that door sticks, <laughs> just a beautiful razor and that had the Gillette 7 o'clock green in there. So I'm going to get cleaned up, get sorted, head back down to my daughter's dance competitions. She danced this morning, had a bit of a, an off day I think with a dance, so hopefully she can pull it out in the next dance. But other than that guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.